Arctic volcanoes are not extremely spectacular. Often hidden by snow or ice, they can easily be mistaken for mountains or glacier formations. All the major volcanic structures here are glacial, permanently covered with hundreds of meters of ice. But even the most untrained eye can see, in its contours and colors, a clear indication of Iceland's origin. This land of ice is also a land of fire. The island, with its 100,000 square kilometers, is unique in that it is exclusively composed of volcanic rock. Iceland is in fact made up of a string of volcanoes that emerged in the midst of the Atlantic Ocean, along a gigantic gash in the Earth's crust. It's a must, a paradise, for all those trying to unravel the history of our planet and its volcanoes. But in the early days of volcanology, Iceland was distant, and scientists kept to the old world. Understanding the Earth's landscapes was not always as easy as it seems today. These cones and domes in the heart of France's Auvergne region were first thought to be slag heaps or even giant forge furnaces built by the Romans. It wasn't until the middle of the 18th century that the truth came out and the Puy, as they are called, were recognized as a chain of volcanoes. In 1751, Jean-Étienne Guettard, a distinguished physician and mineralogist, undertook a journey to the center of France. On his random excursions, he noticed that a black porous stone was often used there. It reminded him of lava samples from Vesuvius that he'd seen in a collection belonging to the Duke of Orléans. Guitard inquired as to the source of this stone, used for so many purposes here. He was told that it came from the Volvic quarries. He went there himself, and although he had never seen a volcano in his life, he was soon convinced. I easily recognized that the Puy de Dome, as well as Volvic Mountain, were once volcanoes. Everything indicates this. In the areas not covered with plants and trees, the ground is exclusively composed of pumice stone, chunks of lava, and a kind of sand or gravel formed by a type of cinder and very small pumice stones mixed with sand. Some of the still intact volcanic bombs on the Puy de la Vache allow us to imagine the violence of the eruptions that shook this region less than 10,000 years ago. The Puy chain is considered one of the most beautiful groups of volcanic formations in Europe. 
90 volcanoes are squeezed into a 5-kilometer-wide strip that stretches for almost 50 kilometers. <laughs>